Hello, my phoenixes. Today we are going to do a inner child meditation. If you do have a picture of a younger version of yourself, this is not necessary at all, but just to add in a little bit more of a connection if you need help with visualizing a younger version of yourself, go ahead and find that picture. Pause this video and go find that picture. And if you have that picture or if you can just see a version of yourself, I'll invite anybody else who doesn't have a picture. I don't have a picture right now, so I'm with you if you're that. And I invite you to get comfortable. We're gonna take a seat, however it is that you would like to sit with your spine straight. You can lay down as well. You can really be anywhere. We're just gonna close our eyes now and focus on our breath. I'm going to lead us through a little bit of a breath ratio before I go through the guidance, okay? Just to drop us into our body. So you're going to inhale for four seconds and then hold for four seconds. Exhale for four seconds. Hold the exhale out for four seconds and then repeat the inhale for four. So it's always a four count and it's kind of like a box if you think about it. So... <clears throat> I will cue us. We're gonna take one big inhale and exhale just to do that before we start. So go right ahead and take an inhale. And exhale. And then in for four. Hold. Exhale for four. Hold. Inhale for four. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and then inhale and exhale regularly again. Now keeping our eyes closed, I want you to imagine a younger version of you. This does not need to be a, an infant or a toddler. It can be an adolescent version of you. It can literally be you last week if you'd like. Just visualizing a younger part of you. And I want you to perhaps actually channel, meaning visualize, tap into the energy of a age range is not important just the embodied visualization of a smaller version of you and see that version of you joyously running up to you now How does it feel to embrace your younger self? How does it feel to be around your younger self? There is no right or wrong answer. What feelings does it invoke in you as the you that you are now? Do you feel a sense of wanting to protect that younger version of you? Do you feel like you f want to fill up their energy with love? Do you want to listen to them? 
Do you want to take them to the beach? What is it that you as your person now, what do you feel towards that inner child? I'm just gonna sit with that for a few minutes and just sit until you hear my guidance again. What does your now being feel towards and want to give or offer, or just express and experience and feel towards your inner child that you are with? Feel free to, even in your mind, speak or out loud, say to your inner child what they needed to hear or what they need to hear now. Without judgment, there's no right or wrong. Even just saying, hey, I like you, is enough. I want you now to shift perspective a little <clears throat> and start to put your energy into the younger child version of yourself. I want you to embody them now. And I want you to see who you are now from your inner child's perspective. So I'll let you get a little accumulated, accustomed to that new perspective. What does it feel like to be your inner child right now? You are your inner child. They are alive in you. What does it feel like to see the world through their eyes? Now that they have gotten this new integration from your older, more wiser self, what does it feel like now to see through the eyes of this younger child who has been rejuvenated? What does this younger child want to say to the you that you are now? Go ahead and say that in your mind or out loud. Maybe they say thank you for protecting me. Thank you for always holding me. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for loving me. They say, I am proud of who you've become. I'm proud of you for taking this time to connect with me. What does your inner child say? What do they feel towards who you are now? There's again, no right or wrong. Just allow what comes out to be. And we're gonna sit with this new perspective for a few minutes now, until you hear my guidance again.
you experience heavy emotions, if you want to cry, if you feel like you're getting mad or frustrated, let that be. When you experience these emotions, maybe past traumas that this child has experienced, that your more mature self still holds in their body, say to yourself, it is safe for me to experience what decides to come forward in this moment. It is safe for me to experience what decides to come forward in this moment. It is safe for me to experience what decides to come forward in this moment. I want you now to visualize your consciousness interweaved between the you mature version now and the inner child part of you. Allow them to start to blend together. Allow both of these visualizations of separate people, maybe different versions of you, to be blended together like a soup. For you are always whole, all parts of you always exist within you, all parts of you exist as a consciousness that is attainable if you wish to call forward the remembrance of it. All parts of you are integrated now as we mix them together, as we recognize that you were not better then, nor are you better now, and you have always been whole just experiences have made you question yourself, maybe trauma, muddy the lens of your divinity. But what was broken was the lens, not you. I want you to visualize the you now and the inner child now encapsulated as one and I want you to put it into a bracelet, a locket, a little treasure chest, a box and picture you now, your soul, grabbing the box and placing it in your heart knowing that it is always within you if you desire to speak to those parts of you again and that they are so grateful for this communication that you have chosen to do. I want you now to envision beautiful white light flowing up from the cosmos into your body. Let it fill you up from head to toe, all the way down, trickling down. And as it does, allow any tension to be softened into, let it release, gift it to the earth. Repeat after me if you'd like. I am whole. I am safe. I am enough. I am worthy. I am good. I am whole. I am safe. I am enough. I am worthy. I am divine. Thank yourself for giving you this time. Thank your guides, ancestors, higher self, archangels, all beings who work in our highest and most healed timeline for guiding us always and being here with us. Thank you. Feel free to wiggle your fingers, your toes, move your tongue around into the roof of your mouth and do any stretches that you feel like you want to do. Bow your head to your heart thanking this internal intelligence for guiding us, holding us, supporting us, and teaching us beautiful lessons, allowing us to integrate as we choose to. And go ahead and open your eyes. Wow, how was that? That was really nice. <laughs> that was really beautiful.
if you feel like sharing go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below or message me what came up for you and as always there's no need to judge if you couldn't quite see your younger self or you were struggling to visualize anything or feel anything at all and your mind was thinking about grocery lists or everything that's okay this is a practice you sitting down you wanting you desiring to to experience new things you allowing yourself to test the waters that is everything so be sure to acknowledge yourself thank yourself for gifting yourself this 15 16 minutes of healing and remember the degree to which you believe something possible is always going to be the degree to which it is actually attainable for you i love you so much and your younger self loves you every single part that has ever been loves you and i hope that you feel that if you didn't feel that today that you continue to do this meditation when you feel called to and that you can open your heart up more and more to allowing your inner child to be free and then watch your expression be free a lot of the times when we feel like we can't express or be your real self it's because we have shamed or we want to hide parts of ourselves so integrating them, speaking to them, seeing them, holding them, that's the way through. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, lawnmower just made a weird noise. I love you. Bye.